Greetings, welcome to Human Algorithms where we study human ability, capability down to the science, right? Down to the algorithm. And I welcome um, at the discussion, I welcome you guys um, participating with videos where you can discuss um, topics about um, various uh, um, things related to human ability, yeah? right? Or can we increase the um, efficiencies in our, our various um, topics? So what we're going to talk about today is uh, coexistence, right? So, um, you know, we live in this world where we have... Uh, Many other persons uh, living with us, right? We are not um, hermit, they, right? They say um, no man is an island, so we have to coexist. And uh, there we um, can find uh, difficulties. Now, let's say we have two people that are friends. Uh, they don't have uh, any problem um, to coexist, right? Um, in order um, for us to coexist, we have to feel comfortable um, around each other, right? So, um, two persons that are best friends, they understand each other so much and uh, they feel quite comfortable around each other, right? Probably um, comfortable in each other's skin. Then uh, we have uh, um, to the next part of the spectrum where um, two people are not comfortable around each other right in fact they are very uncomfortable around each other and uh, like if, you know if you go to like um, you do studies in a, in a university or a college they will teach you about um like um out, um conflict rezo Lucian, right? Because um, uh, as much as, uh, for example, in the workplace, as much as you have a um, problem um, with your coworker, you still have to coexist in order for the company to run properly. If you have problem coexisting, then that um, might lead to the possibility of one of you um, losing your work. So, how do we coexist? Right? Um, um, before that, when it comes to... Um, Coexisting, um, one person might be comfortable around the other, but the other might not be comfortable around the other person, right? And uh, it might um, turn out that one person is in a higher um, favor than the other. So um, it, 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 in a um, conflict um, resolution, we are taught that um, both sides 
are supposed to um what you call it that um are supposed to compensate they are supposed to like um both both sides are supposed to give up certain ideals to fit in um with the other person's ideal and then we have a win win situation right but what i'm saying is that a lot of times when um when we are dealing with coexistence it is a win lose situation right even in the workplace so um for example somebody might be at the workplace longer than you so they um are highly favored over you they might be the boss so they are highly favored right and you know many other circumstances will um make it be that in any coexisting you are going to have to drop your ideals to fit with their ideals and they don't have to drop any of their ideals so they win you lose right but um they have something that you need so you either are going to have to go without that thing that you need or you are going to have to give up your ideals and coexist with them right and that is what we are going to talk about so um this whole thing can be broken down into two variables right when it comes to coexisting you have uh, oh what's the need to coexist with that person and uh, right so that's the level of need to coexist with the person and then uh, there is the level of difficulty to coexist with the person so the equation right the algorithm is that if the level of need is greater than the level of difficulty then you should try to coexist right you should find a way to um give up more of your ideals however if the level of difficulty is greater than the level of need then there's no sense in giving up more of your ideals to try to achieve that need or try to maintain that need and uh, finally the difference between the level of need and the level of conflict will determine how nice you are in um shocking off the person you know when eventually like let, let's say that the difference between the level of need and the level of difficulty is high then you tell the person to fuck off right this is human algorithm right this is not um sesame street so right we, we come to your plain and simple 
So if it's too difficult, if the difficulty is too much and the need is much lower than that difficulty, you have all the right to tell that person to fuck off. However, if the level of difficulty is not much higher than the level of need, you are still going to shrug off that person. Right? It makes no sense you are going to continue to try to go for that need. But you, you want to do it in a nicer way. Right? So it makes no sense you are going to go all out and this person when uh, the level of difficulty is just slightly more than the level of that need so those are the two equations and let's look at some case studies so all right, let's say like, you know, in, you have somebody by the name of John and John lives in uh, a community where there are three internet sources and uh, John is somebody that needs the internet to do his work right so and after um make another video about how we can quantify need right it's the idea of value right how do you measure value we know how to measure money we know how to measure liquid how do we measure value right um quickly i can i'm just say that um if you really need something it has a great value like water water has a great value but then uh, here's another um part of the equation how plentiful are the sources of the water right so we know that the water itself is valuable right without the water you, you can't live but um oh when you have multiple sources of obtaining that water or how easily you can obtain that water is going to determine how valuable is the water that somebody is trying to use over you right so in the situation with john john needs the internet right without the internet john cannot do his work but um the the value of each person's internet is cut in three because john has three sources that he can obtain the internet right so if he meets in trouble with one um source john has two more places that he can obtain the internet right so the value of each person's internet is cut in three right now um but um you know that does that's just three sources right it is not like it's 40 sources right it's just three sources so um Let's say that John and one of those persons is uh, getting into some trouble. John might want to um, 
give up um, some of his ideals to um, continue to appease this person that is providing the internet. But if it um, if it reaches a situation where, um, for example, the conflict um, reached to a situation where um, this person is outright disrespecting John, then John has less problem to cut off that link because he has two more internet sources. Now, if John only had one internet source, then you pretty much be at the person's mercy. All right. Let's look at another case study where we have somebody by the name of Buju Bantan, right? And that's a real person's name, right? Buju Bantan is famous reggae artist. Now, um, the conflict Buju Bantan doesn't like gay people, and I say gay people here to be nice. So, um, so, so he been, you know, putting out his music, boom, bye, bye, in a body, boy, you know, songs that um, say destruction to gay people, and Bojo Bantan has been doing all right until one of those are a group of those gay individuals. Um, decide that they are going to um, boycott every show that Buju Bantan does. No, all right. In this scenario, they don't have any anything that Buju Bantan wants, right? But Buju Bantan needs to coexist with these persons because. They have the power to cut his food. And you will see that Buju Bantan actually made many, many attempts, right? Even uh, posing, you know, pictures with them. I think he even hugged them. Um, so some of the group leaders and, and, and stuff like that, right? So you can see that Buju Bantan is now going out of his way to you know, appease these people because the need is greater than the conflict. So, you know, when you're on the, the street, you'd say, what the man thing? No, you know that, you know? The man can you know, it's like you would be putting that conflict as being uh, the highest conflict in the world, right? Nothing cannot um, overshadow that conflict. But right there, the need to continue making those dollars was so great that the conflict between uh, um, the conflict that, you know, Buju Mantan has with about gay people is reduced significantly, right? So that's the um, whole I am um, algorithm and human coexistence. Hope you enjoy the video and welcome the discussion. Thank you.